and here we go guys my ryzen 7 5700g goes back into its micro atx case all right so here's case oh shit look at that so many dust i'm gonna have to use a blower and then clean this whole thing in the weekend but right now i can't do it okay and what we need is a thermal paste one screwdriver and I'm using the stock cooler, AMD stock cooler. So yeah, let's do this. So first, you wanna locate the, so you wanna lift this latch, okay? You wanna locate the thing. Where is it? <clears throat> Alright, guys. So as you can see, this the little triangle is right here okay and now it's seated properly okay every side every corner seated properly okay without even don't push don't push your thumb all right so once it's seated now then just close this latch all right and now we can now apply some thermal paste on it Okay, just one dot like this. Now we're gonna grab the AMD cooler and we're gonna make sure that it aligns. Okay, so you can see the four holes. Okay, four holes like these four holes. This is going to go there. So first we align it. Okay, okay, so it goes like this. This is that guys tip of the day i'm gonna show you i was trying indefinitely like for the past 10 minutes i was trying to screw this in like tightening over tightening i try to remove it as you can see it mess up it won't it just won't fit in so i decided to um to give this a try and once i pop the the back case you can see this comes off <laughs> AM, AM4 so basically thankfully you don't have to remove all of this all you have is to have someone or oh, you can do do it yourself so basically what what they will do is you wanna align this and while holding this right here and with your right hands you wanna screw them in as you can see now we can see those holes those like now these screws the spring okay spring screws right spring screws will go into those hole so the trick is so you wanna push on it okay apply a little pressure and then screw and then it will work Right, so after that done okay uh this i turn this and it, now it's maybe blocking the one stick so make sure you use you flip it to the side and then just connect the cable to the cpu fan socket whether you have a cpu fan as you can see cpu fan too all right and there we go now i can uh, I can screw the back plate. And this should be good to go.